Named for Colorado State University's eighth president, the William E. Morgan Alumni Achievement Award is the highest honor bestowed by the Alumni Association and is reserved for alumni who have excelled at the national or international level. President Morgan presided over Colorado A&M's transformation into a modern research university and fought tirelessly for the growth and welfare of this institution throughout the decades he served in the president's chair. Tonight, we present the William E. Morgan Alumni Achievement Award to General James H. Dickinson, whose service to the nation and career accomplishments epitomize the values that underpin Colorado State University. General Dickinson was on campus in 2017 for the first football game at Canvas Stadium, which was Military Appreciation Day. And the, the day before, he had gone into the team room to give the, the team a big pep talk for the game. So it was time to go up into the president's suite, and he didn't want to leave the sidelines. He wanted to stay down with the team and cheering on the team. He was, he was as excited as anybody along the sidelines. Our relationship has been both professional and personal for over 32 years. It's built upon serving together in both good times, bad times, hard times. And again, as I said, developing a relationship that very few have over their lifetime. Jim is thoughtful and he's caring. During the ROTC commissioning, he started talking about our son, Nick, who was a Marine who was killed in Iraq in 2007 and I was so surprised. It, it, it just shows a level of compassion and dedication that I, I just think is extraordinary. Although this award is going to General Dickinson and is so well deserved, I think Mix, Mrs. Dickinson and all the families of the military families also deserve a shout out for the sacrifice and the fear and the uncertainty that they face every day. Um, when I talk about rams taking care of rams, which is what we say around here, I think General Dickinson and Mrs. Dickinson really embody that. The nation has been blessed with Jim and Angie's service, and, uh, and we're just thankful that we have people of this character and this quality to serve our nation. And I think one thing in a very personal level if you think about a parent who's, a, who's entrusting their son or daughter to the military, Jim's benefit has been to care for those, what I call America's sons and daughters, to care for them that they're like his own family. And I think that's the most important thing. Okay.